Hi everybody, today we're going to be uh, talking about the step-by-step -step ways of putting together your portrait collage. Now I know you already got a lot of pictures together, uh, so let's prepare the collage surface. So you have an outline uh, of your face on a piece of paper. Um, if, you haven't, if you don't have it in Sharpie or a thick marker, can you please outline it over the pencil line we have? That way we'll be able to see it on the reverse side of the paper because we'll be cutting that out later. But we're going to leave it here. But again, let's use a marker on that so you get a nice see-through outline on the other side of the paper. What we can do now is we can lay out um, your photographs. Try to think about like the main ones you want to use first and start to place them where you think they might work. It's kind of like a puzzle you're putting together. But you really just got to get a few started to get you going, maybe two or three where you really want them to go. You might even have some pictures that you're going to cut up a little bit um, for later to make sure they fit good. For example, my grizzly bear here, I'm going to cut out that background and just cut out the body and some of the water because I'm going to use that later. I don't want all that background. So you can always cut down your pictures if you want. I think I'm going to put that eagle up there. My themes on nature. Now we're going to start gluing imagery. You're going to get your glue stick. We're going to lay your first picture down. One important thing to know is that when you glue your pictures down, it's okay if they go past the edge of the outline of your portrait because we're going to be cutting out the extra pitch of the picture away later. So, for example, I'm going to put my first picture right there. I'm going to really push it down, make sure I got glue on all the edges of the paper. I could cut it out on the edge to kind of get it, to line it up, but that's a lot of work. We don't need to do that. You know, yes, I could glue a picture down here of these trees and then mark an outline on how it overlaps. But again, that's a lot of work. Let's not worry about that. Let's worry more about Cutting only when we really want to get rid of some stuff, but just keep layering and overlapping your pictures. And it's actually a good idea to cover over all the outline edge of the face. There's no wrong way to do this, but if you find some small gaps where you don't where you can't put a picture, color them in. You can color them in with marker or color pencil, whatever you have on you. So right here I'm using a little marker to color black in. You can use crayons. You can always wait to the end of the collage to do all this. So I'm just going to go through here, keep putting all my pictures, and you're going to see that I'm going to keep covering the edges of my portrait. Yeah, make sure to cover over the whole portrait like I'm doing here. And when you glue, make sure you get glue all over the edges. Yeah, there you go. It's not going to look like a face after you glue all this down, I understand. But you're going to see the magic we're going to do on the cutout after. So what we're going to do is, because we used the marker already, we're going to flip over our artwork. And we're going to be able to see the silhouette of our face on the other side. We are going to re-outline that with a pencil or marker because that's going to be a guide for us to cut out the head shape. And like magic, you're going to see that you're going to have a great clean cutout with a nice clean edge of all the pictures. So here I'll get my scissors and cut it out as as clean and accurate as you can. Take your time here. There's no rush. And then the big reveal, after you cut it out, so when I flip it over, you'll see I have a nice clean cutout of my face. 
we're going to be able to put this against a bunch of backgrounds. So hopefully we'll come back to school for that. Um, but we can, you can play with like putting colors behind it, like colored paper. Like here I have yellow and blue. Just taking some construction paper, laying that behind. And I'll throw my picture over it. This will give it a really fun finished look. Sometimes just black background is really good. But again, we'll test it out. Best of luck, everybody.